Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mariah Knight. So today's video guys, I am here kasi gusto ko kayong i-update. We are here already in California. So I know that I promise everyone na mag update ako every day. Pero obviously hindi nangyari yun dahil one week na akong hindi nakapag-active at hindi nag-upload ng video. So anyways, ang nakikita nyo ngayon sa aking background is yes, this is going to be the place that we're going to live. It's a one-bedroom king suite hotel. So we decided to stay in a hotel na lang for the rest of our stay here in San Francisco kasi medyo, gusto ko ng medyo simple at madaling buhay for now. And also, um, apartments here cost more than a hotel. So, it is really easy to live in a hotel kasi um, free breakfast, free cleaning, furnish na yung room, wala na kong problema. Tsaka, it's, my days are really easy here in the past few days na nandito ako. It's really been relieving. It's given me enough time to rest. By the way, too, ang place na to is sobrang lapit sa mga Asian store. Yung mall nandyan lang sa likod. So, it's really cool. I really love it here. So, yeah. Um, yung stuff namin is we stored it in the storage. Some of it, we have to give it away. Yung nagmumove kami sa Arizona, we have to give it away because it doesn't fit in the truck. We rented a 26 feet u-haul truck and it's just the stuff don't fit if we're not gonna get if we're not gonna get rid of some of the stuff so yeah we get rid of those we drive here from arizona for at least three days we stop by in some couple places like hotels and stuff like that so it was really fun it was really a fun journey um san francisco is big i'm so excited i already see it I've never seen an ocean this close. I've never lived in an ocean this close. So San Francisco is going to be really exciting. So yeah, but um, the thing that stops me from uploading and updating you guys nung nag-start kaming mag-move is because in our day two sa aming drive papunta dito is my grandpa died. I actually received a text message from my brother sa Pilipinas na namatay na yung lolo ko. Kasi meron siyang, um, yung lolo ko nag-rapture yung spleen niya. Meron siyang spleen rapture. I don't know what that one is, but he was critical for a little bit, day, for a lot of days, I don't know how long, in ICU. And um, his last few hours was like, he wasn't on pain, he was just, he said that he can't take it anymore, so he said goodbye to us, and that was really hard. It was really hard for me, you know, with all the moving, with all the transition, and this happened. So it's going to be a really weird year for me, because Grandpa is very dear to me, and he's probably second of the closest one in my family na nawala sa akin after my grandma died. So, yeah, it was really hard. Um, when we got here, I was really heartbroken. Dave, Dave was also, he don't know what to do with me. I was always crying. I just need to get it out. Kasi alam ko naman na hindi ako makaka that time. So, anyways, Yung first choice namin na place, um, we, we mark it X in our list, you know, of places. Kasi nung nakapunta na kami doon, the place was right, the place is nice, you know, malapit sa freeway, easy to get onto the freeway para makapunta siya sa work niya. But there is really nothing out there. Walang Asian store, walang kahit anong store. So, medyo malayo siya sa mga store, which is kailangan ko na medyo malapit lang ako para hindi maubos yung isang buong araw ko pag may, gust may kailangan akong bilhin. So, yeah, that was the update. Um, I don't know what to say more. I just, you know, right now is probably tomorrow is going to be my grandpa's 
last night and funeral and I'm still trying to get recovered from this. I don't know what I'm going to feel bukas at ngayong araw na to. It was just a lot of things going on in my mind. I can't go home. It's really hard. Masakit pala pag ano, pag nawalan ka ng isang mahalagang tao sa buhay mo and then in the last few days na nandito siya sa sa earth, hindi mo siya makikita kasi malayo ka. So yeah, um, actually, nung nagtanong ako sa tita ko, there is actually a restriction when it comes to funeral funeral arrangement sa Pilipinas ngayon. At also, they, they also have like a quarantine code na tinatawag nila na kagaya yung sa mama ko from Dabao to Cotabato, they only give her at least 20. 24 hours to visit my grandpa pero pinili ni mama na mag quarantine siya kaya um, she can stay as long as she want but after, before she go back to Davao, maka-quarantine muna siya ng 14 days, parang mga ganun parang medyo pahirapan yung pag-travel so same with me, siguro kung uuwi ako ganun din, hindi ko maabutan yung living ng lolo ko, kaya I just you know I hope you understand what I talk to my aunt, I talk to my family and they fully understand bakit hindi ako makakauwi and it's I told them it's been really hard sa akin dahil with all the moving transition tapos nangyari pa to parang ang hindi ko alam kung anong uunahin ko that time but today nakapag-upload na din ako ng video because I am okay. I am okay now. So, okay na ako. Um, I just wanna share this with you guys kasi maraming nanonood ng my day ko and then I always keep posting my grandpa there. They didn't even know who he was. It was just really, they're not used, people are not used to see me heartbroken like this kasi malakas ako eh. Malakas ako pero pero this time, I admit na I really feel it this time. Kasi lolo ko yun at I love him so much. So, it, it really hurts. It really hurts this time. So, yeah. Ito, yun lang yung update. By the way, this place, um, I will take you guys into a tour. It's really cool. It's a one-bedroom king suite. So, actually, nung first time namin pumasok dito, Danny was like, oh, it's so small because we're from a three-bedroom house. Tapos, lumipat kami sa one-bedroom hotel, which is kind of like uh, not our go-to, right? Pero ito, lahat ng kailangan ko meron na, except for the laundry, because there's a coin laundry outside, but it's not too hassle. But I do really love it here, and I am so excited. By the way, today is Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, Dave's last day. Wala siyang trabaho every Saturday and Sunday, so we're both really excited to explore San Francisco with you guys. So, yeah, we really wanted to see the Golden Gate Bridge, the Alcatraz. I drove to San Francisco yesterday, and I was like, whoa, I've seen all these bridges. I mean, I've seen it before, but it was just really nice to go across it all every time we try to get to Tran San Francisco. So, I've seen it before, but we're just passing. And this time, yeah, we're passing too, but... We are ready to explore San Francisco this weekend. Maybe you know, kung meron chang, meron chang off talaga this weekend. So we plan to go in the ocean. So yeah. And by the way, thank you po sa lahat ng you know they send love, hugs, condolences to my Facebook. Salamat na appreciate ko. I'm sorry if I didn't reply, kasi medyo. Medyo mabigat yung loob ko that time and I don't know what makes, what will make it na mag gumaan yung loob ko. I don't know what to do para gumaan yung loob ko. So, iniyak ko siya. Umiyak ako ng mga couple days. I was, hindi naman ako na-depressed but I was really sad. I was really saddened by this. So, it really affects me a lot these past few days. So, yeah. Thank you all for the love, for the hugs. I really appreciate it. And salamat sa lahat ng mga nag-message sa akin na concern about, you know, yung sa post ko about sa grandpa ko. I am okay now. And I am looking forward to upload more videos after this video. 
So yeah, the next couple clips that I am going to show you guys is just what I see and where I've been in the last few days here. You know, last few days namin bago, pumunta, bago kami nakapunta dito sa bago naming place. By the way, the city that we're leaving, you guys, is Newark. I don't know if that's even sound familiar to you, but it's really, really close to San Francisco. It's like an hour away. Um, you can actually take a bar train from here to San Francisco, get there. We're so excited. So my top list here in San Francisco would be the Golden Gate Bridge, the Alcatraz, and just there's so much. I don't know. I have to make a list for us to visit everything. So yeah, I am excited to upload more travel videos in the next couple of days. I'm excited to do more kasi meron akong mga collab na hindi ko pa na ano. I emailed them na I can't do it right now. I actually have to take a pause right now kasi it's been really hard these past few days. But I am okay now. Thank you guys for looking up to me. Thank you for sending all your messages. Sobrang na-appreciate ko. Naramdaman ko talaga na marami, marami ang nagmamahal sa'yo. Lalo na pag mga ganitong panahon. Kahit yung kakilala mo hindi mo kakilala, they actually send me message. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Napagaan niyo yung loob ko. Sobrang naka-recover ako pag nakakabasa ako ng mga message na it's okay, we all, we all lost someone and something like that. So, thank you and huwag niyo kalimutan mag-subscribe para connected tayo, okay? So, in the next couple clip that I am going to upload at the end of this video, it's just going to be the places I've been here in San Francisco. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye!